Hello and welcome to Everything to Yuppie, the Binding of Isaac podcast where we talk about every trinket, 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 and trinket in the Binding of Isaac series of video games. My name is Gary Butterfield, and with me as always is Duckfeed's official page, Lahuse. Oh, hello, Gary. Hello. I'm going with with page in like a a a chivalry sense, not a Kenneth from 30 Rock sense. Ah, yes. Um, Fetch my goblet. Yes, squire. Of course, squire. (laughs) Well, I'm not a squire. Uh, the, uh, Manhattan, oh, I'm of course. St- what? If anyone's a squire on the network, it's probably like Dennis. Like me, me, me and Cole will be king and queen. And then, uh, <laughs> we got like Knight Jeremy, <laughs> like Lady Jala, the Duchess. And then we're all going to play, uh, chess. Oh man, that'd be great. Can you imagine duck feed chess where they take a, <laughs> like they take Shout a out to thing. Zach Handlin for having a sexual interest in the queen from the battle chess manual. It's Trinket Sunday. Sunday, Monday. Trinket. Days. Tuesday, Wednesday. Trinket. Days. Thursday, Friday. Trinket. Days. <laughs> Shout out. Gotta hand it to him. <laughs> On reflection, you do not <laughs> gotta hand it to him. <laughs> well, before we get onto this trinket. Sure. And then, and then we... get right back off it. And then I think it's it's we time to give back to Gamepedia by doing the opinion survey. Absolutely. All right. Which of the following brands have you heard of? Please check all that apply. Apply. IGN. Yes. Gamepedia. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Wikipedia. <laughs> I have heard of Wikipedia. <laughs> Fextra Life. Yep. Bulbapedia. Uh, is that a Pokemon? It is. But I'm answering for you, so. Sure. I'll say no. Uh, fandom. Yes. Or none of the above. Oh, yes. Okay. I see. Oh, it unclicked everything. Yeah. <laughs> I, was, I was hoping it would, I would just get a horrendous air message. Um, let me go through. No, All it's right. fine. All right. Hold on. Um, so, uh, these are the ones. Well, actually, let me, I did, I undid none of the above. Let me see what happens here. None of the above. <laughs> Thank you for taking our survey. Oh, we did it. We did gave we back, baby. Survey? We won. Yeah, because it was going to ask how much we liked those websites. Ah. Next. I was really hoping for some Alundra questions. Um, how much do you like the following brand? Alundra. Like <sighs> it very much? Like it somewhat? Neither like it nor dislike it? Dislike it somewhat or dislike it very much? I neither like- Dislike it since you love it. I neither like nor dislike it. I love you it. You love it. Okay. I put that in and thank you. We completed the survey again. Awesome. I wish that Here, these were- uh, on the survey. <laughs> I wish that these were rated in Cold Stone terms. Mm, like, Gotta okay, have love it. it. Gotta play it. Gotta lunder it. Just lunder it. I would eat some uh, ice cream right now. Speaking of Cold Stone. I got some ice cream in the freezer. So. I, I envy you. It's uh, I'm real warm. Is it warm where you're at? I'm extremely warm right now. It's yeah. uh, Gary, is it time mm-hmm. for the torso report? I think it is. <laughs> And now, the Torso Report. 2.0, oh, yeah. With your hosts, G. Butterfield and Hughes, comma, Will. It's been a minute since Cole befouled our report with ham. <laughs> <laughs> he just wiped wet ham all over our beautiful segment. Oh, here's a cold cut, guys. Slime. The thing you need to know about Greta the Cat is ham. Ham. The thing you gotta know about chili is it's got plenty of Midwestern ham. Gary, I am, Um, uh, I'm, Gary, I'm hmm? gonna get a little sexual or possibly just sensual here. I'm recording in my underwear. Ooh, baby. And I'm I'm very wet. I'm very wet. I'm recording in gym shorts. So So not quite underwear, but what's the difference? Uh, like it's still like just, one layer between me and the world. You know? Okay, you're not wearing underwear under the gym shorts. No. Then I would argue that those gym shorts are underwear. Does anything you wear without underwear become underwear? Yes, if it touches your dick, it's underwear. Interesting. Like a caftan or a muumuu. <laughs> Take that, Clancy Brown. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> shouldn't have snatched my dick like 24. Um. But yeah, no, my undergullies, uh, between uh, or underneath my moobs. Okay. Uh, definitely like a water slide. If you were to take a napkin 
yes, and rub it under there. Would you then be able to see through the napkin? I mean, there's only one way to find out. Let's do it. Got a Chipotle napkin I keep in my uh, nightstand in case of spills. <laughs> Appropriate. This is a Chipotle. This one might be not be a Chipotle. It's got no branding on it. All right, I'm going to brown one, paper napkin. We all. I'm going to one ply like. this, so I'm unfolding it. Mm-hmm. And now I am. Let's see if we can hear that on the mic. Did mm-hmm. That come through. That sound come through. Oh yeah. Yep. It's beautiful. All right, Gary. Uh, can I? You know what? I'm. I've got it held up to my monitor. I cannot read through it. It is. It, it is fainter though. It is fainter. Yeah. Well, that's Look, you're you not know, too Gary, sweaty. For, for the for science, let's do the other move. Okay. <laughs> That's not yeah. offensive, right, Moob? I, I don't think so. It's since you're talking oh, about your Moob. Oh, we have gone through the napkin, Gary. <laughs> we we yeah. are we are can through you, the napkin glass. Now you can see through it. Now you can look at an eclipse through it. Doctor Nick approved. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> the window to, to wait game. disgust to wait have <laughs> to wait, uh, to wait <laughs> have. <laughs> and Gary, I, I don't want to get into the situation that's happening on the back of my gamer chair, uh, which was, might be the most sweated on piece of furniture in was, most people's homes. I was going to bring that up is that I sweated my back now, now that I, more than I used to. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's pretty warm in my apartment and uh, the back of my chair, real wet. Yeah, you it's know? like a rainforest cafe back there. It is. Uh, I've been wiping it down with napkins, but it's hard to get new napkins. You yeah. got to go to Chipotle, man. I do have to go to Chipotle and just like Shit, I really, really I go. go, go Chipotle, <laughs> just, man. I'm not, I'm not going to go to Chipotle. Um, a missing page. Yeah. This is a prequel, I guess. We did missing page two before. Yeah. Yep. So now a uh, missing page origins. Uh, uh, this is a tremendously underwhelming, underwhelming yeah, trinket. The, Even by trinket this, standards, this does nothing. Yeah. This sucks ass. Uh, if you get hit, you have a chance to do the Necronomicon. If you have 50 to 60 luck, the chance is 50%. Yeah, pretty. Oh, and does not trigger with Holy Mantle. Yeah, cool. Um, So this means that once every, like, 200 times you get hit, because you know how you get hit 200 times in the game of Isaac, right? Yeah. Uh, You'll do uh, some damage to everything in the room. And pretty much nothing to bosses. Yeah, you might weaken all the enemies in the room. You have a small chance at it. The major uh, the, benefit of this item is that you won't have a blank spot on your screen in your trinket slot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's it. Horrible. Like, it's better than nothing? Sure. Uh, but I, you know, this isn't quite the level. There are a couple of things that are, I don't pick up out of spite. Sure. You know, because I'm like, this is dumb, but it's like, it's not going to hurt me, but I just don't want it. This isn't quite to that level. Like, I'll grab it, uh, but I don't like it. So. Yeah, it's a it's it's nothing. It's just nothing. It's a reference, of course, to the Necronomicon, everybody's favorite big old book of the dead. Mm-hmm. From mm-hmm. my mm-hmm. from from the Evil Dead movie series. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and the Necronomicon is good. I like that book. I would Sh- like a copy of the book. Sure, someone take some human skin and bind up a copy of the Necronomicon. For bind Gary. up an Isaac. Yeah. Um, bind me up, Isaac. Uh, (laughs) Gary, I feel like it would be too far to ask Isaac himself to show us his crack. Because he's a baby. He's 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 an infant. He's he's, uh, anywhere between one and eight, depending on which one of us you believe. (laughs) And but both of which are below the acceptable uh, Clancy Brown snap my dick like a 24 villain. I agree, level. Gary. Uh, the Clancy Brown standards for what is and is not acceptable are very mm-hmm. clear on this. Yeah, the Brown Accords. So we like to call them. As a podcaster, we've all agreed to them. Gary, I don't want to fucking talk about the Avengers movies anymore. <laughs> That's not what the Brown Accords are, man. Oh. Nobody in the Avengers agreed to the Brown Accords. Well, what what, what, what were their fucking see, uh, accords that they made up in one movie? The so Skakovia. That they the Skakovia. <laughs> Sokovia Accords, man. The Scoville Come Scale on. Awards. Age of Ultron. Get with it. I, I, that's actually the one I haven't seen. Actually, I haven't seen oh. a bunch of them. That's a lot. <laughs> like the one you haven't seen. <laughs> Gary, let's real quick. Can you list all the Marvel movies and I'll say whether I've seen them or not? I wonder if I could list all the Marvel movies. Let's try. Let's try. Okay. I bet you I can. Uh, Iron Man 1 through 3. Uh, Yes, no, no. Oh, no. Wait, sorry. Yes, yes, no. Uh, Thor 1 through 3. Uh, Yes, no, yes. Captain America 1 through 3. 
No, yes, yes. Avengers 1 through 4. Yes, no, yes, yes. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy 1 and 2. Yes, no. Um, Ant-Man 1 and 2. No, no. Black Panther. Yes. Um, is that all of them? No, not even close. You have left off. Uh, oh, Doctor Cap- Strange. Uh, no. Captain Marvel. No. Um. Gary, you're forgetting our old Spider-Man fan. One and Two. Uh, yes, yes. You're forgetting our um, old pal Ed Norton. Oh yeah, and Hulky, Hulky no. along. No. Yeah. It was pretty close though. Yeah. No, you did good. I'm trying to think. I'm really quick trying to run through and see if you've forgotten any others. I don't think you have though. I think that's that's no. it. I saw. So yeah, I'm running about fifty percent on those. Pretty good. I see the ones people tell me are good. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the only you haven't seen Guardians of the Galaxy 2 because your girlfriend doesn't like it, but I think it's much better than the first one. I mean, I didn't see it um, because I hated the first one. Oh, that, that makes sense. I think the yeah. second one's much better. I didn't like the first one very much either. Um, no, I don't think you'd like the second one either. Not your thing. It's okay. It's, it's pretty much not my thing. It's uh, manufactured fun in a way that doesn't work for me. There's not enough laser tag. Yeah. Other manufactured funds that do, like Kingdom Hearts. But not this one. Like, it's just, Gary, when I walk away, you don't hear me say, do a silly dance number with Chris Pratt's snap twat. <laughs> no, snap twat. <laughs> the Chris Pratt snap twat. <laughs> to picture, get a picture of Chris Pratt's genitals. For only, only stays online for one minute. Is that how Snapchat works? I have no idea. I know Instagram is stories is, Instagram stories is the worst thing in the world because celebrities can like say things on there and it's real hard for journalists to find them. Well, that sucks. And it makes my yeah. life annoying. I don't like Instagram in general. I think it's good if you're living that Instagram kind of life, man. The Insta? Yeah. Well, that's because you're in favor of Celeste. So you like that little beard guy going, Instagram, <laughs> selfie. Yep. Um, yeah. I make fun of that guy and hurt a lot of people's feelings. If you like this show. Gary, uh, I, want, I want to say I pronounced this week content. This was content. Uh, bone to pick week. Sure. Yeah. Might have gotten dropped a little soon. <laughs> Gary, you want to gin up some conflict right here at the end? Do it. Well, I, I picked my bone. You pick your bone. Oh, uh, you're you too, stop fucking, shit about you're too fucking handsome. Oh, fucking you asshole. Can't believe you're picking that bone. God, your hair's all grown out and it looks luxurious. I, I am actually kind of into long hair. Gary, I hate right it. Now. I, I fucking hate you're long hair. You're not into it? I hate long hair, Will. Yeah, I'm kind of into it. Okay, long hair will doesn't Olivia work well with your hair. Yeah. Long hair will doesn't work well with bald spot will. <laughs> it's creating some true. unfortunate topologies. <laughs> I guess that's true. It's kind of like a uh, Dark Souls 2 Hollow will. Uh, it's kind of a look you got going on. <laughs> kind of a Gallagher look. Yeah. Thanks, Gary. I was trying to find <laughs> the worst way to describe my look, and you did it. <laughs> um, um, if you like this show. Man, how many years do you think Gallagher's got left in him? Uh, not too many. <laughs> I think it would be a real moment if Gallagher I'm, – I'm not saying I want this to happen. Yeah. But what if Gallagher died of COVID-19? Be, you know, would that be a big enough celebrity death for conservatives to finally take it seriously? No, but it would be so weird that I think it might drive us all insane for the, for good. The headlines are all fucked up. You know, it's like, a fucked huh. up headline. Yeah, it's a – huh. <laughs> Gallagher dead. <laughs> What if, what if, like, that just showed for one frame when I was watching a Gallagher special in, like, eighth grade? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, it's Junji Ito's Gallagher. My, a- yeah, my actual pitch for which celebrity would have to die is, of course, Kurt Russell. Yeah, that's the one you want to have go. I don't want to have him go. I just think that would fuck people up enough. People that... care about him. But know? also, uh, celebrities all have access to, like, actual, like, the real health care. Like, the real yeah, hospitals yeah. and not the fake inflatable ones the rest of us have to fucking go to. The bounce, <laughs> bounce hospitals. It's all right, though. Tom Hanks' blood is going to save us all. Also a weird headline. It was a weird... Did you read my headline for it? I did. Shall we all sup upon Tom Hanks' precious? I I hope that he does cure us. Him and his wife being immune to the disease. Having those antibodies. No actual evidence that the antibodies make you immune. It's all horrible. Yep, it's it's the uh, just guess. (laughs) Everyone's guessing and we got to do something. This has been everything to guessy. Yeah, everything to guess. Despair Week is back. Um, secret came up from the rear. Patreon.com. Shout out to Zach Handlin, still alive when we recorded this episode. You already did the shout out for his porny, uh, <laughs> no. his battle chest boner. Uh, <laughs> like battle chest. 
Um, I love the queen in that because of battle chest. <laughs> um, like, uh, speaking of battle chest, I keep getting tempted to buy the Starcraft remaster. Don't, like, man. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not a Starcraft guy, so I can't. Not a Starcraft guy? Okay. My only like experience with Starcraft was going online, uh, and being in games with strangers against the AI and then betraying them at the last minute. So yeah, undead settlement. That was me at like 16. Yeah. You should play Starcraft 2. I've played Single it. Player. I didn't love it. Oh, you didn't like it? I poked at it mm-hmm. and I got like maybe probably a third of the way in and I was like, yeah, this is an RTS. I don't like RTSs. Wow. I think that game's really fun. Um, Patreon.com slash Dr. I, I don't like the rise. I know this episode is going long. I don't like the rise. Like having to like build from nothing each time is very stressful for me. I can kind of understand that. I think that you, you typically don't build from nothing for very long. Like you get over that arc pretty quick where they start you with a fairly established base and you're just building the advanced shit. Specifically in two. In one, you do build from like scratch basically every, yeah. every mission. It was wild in uh, Warcraft. You used to build walls and roads. Like, I remember playing that uh, early RTS. I'm like, I have to build roads? This is fucked up. Yeah. You know? It so. is fucked up, Gary. I'm glad we could come around together. Uh, and the Warcraft early is, is fucked up. Fucking Warcraft 1 is fucked. Sorry, Jamie Lee Curtis. It's really cool when you uh, cosplay as Warcraft characters. That is pretty cool. Jamie Lee Curtis as a cosplay mom is like the fucking best thing in the world. It's, it's very sweet. Speaking of, though, tying it all back to the MCU... I bet you you got a kick out of that picture of Paul Rudd not dressing as Ant Man for his daughter. I I, I didn't see no. it. Oh, it's it's a, his daughter had a very good uh, the Wasp costume, uh-huh. and Paul Rudd went as a Weird Al Yankovic. That's that is um, that's pretty good. I was like real into it. I'm like <laughs> it's like what a dick. Um, good night. Good night, Clancy Brown. Uh, boy, take us to town. To, take us to town. What's on there? There's so many good fucking Clancy Brown. He was really good in The Mandalorian. Uh, great yeah. turn in The Mandalorian. Well, you you also liked him in uh, Detroit Become Human. Oh, he's the best part of Detroit Become Human. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm I know, I know, I know, yeah. but he's great at it. Yeah, I've heard Fuck. from you. Yeah, Clancy Brown, thank you for your penis and also for Detroit Become Human. Yeah, thank you for your service in general, which includes... Your penis and your starring roles. Service both in and out of quotes. Yes. Your service and your purpose. Clancy Brown, thank you for your cervix.